I grew up in Pearl River, New York, and I grew up in a really tight-knit community. I went to Albertus Magnus High School, and so did my husband. He came from Garnerville, and on the first day of school, our lockers were next to each other because my maiden name was McGuire and his was McNamara. And I couldn't open my locker, and I was flipping out because I thought I was going to be late for class. And so he said, can I open it for you? And I said, yes, please, and I gave him my combination and we became really good friends. So because Tommy was on the soccer team, and I was on the soccer team, every day after school we would get snacks or whatever before practice, and the guys and the girls would hang out together. And so we just became really close, and soccer was one of those things that brought us closer together. Well, my father's from Ireland, and uh, he had a great love for the game, so he introduced it to me early. That's where it came from. It stemmed from my father and, and his love of the game when he, when he was in Ireland and uh, coming back here to the United States and, and introducing me to the game. I, I still love the game, you know, love being at the games, love watching the games, you know, still go to college games, still go fortunate enough to go to pro games, and uh, I have a lot of uh, nieces and nephews that play in this area and we love going to those games on the weekend. It's something that me and my wife love to do and it's uh, something that, that we've done all, all our lives. She has the love and the passion for the game too. So uh, it's kind of a family thing. Soccer meant everything. Uh, obviously school was a main priority as well since my mom was a teacher. Um, but soccer was the, the thing that we did right when we got home from school. We'd play for a few hours, make sure we got our homework done and then do whatever we wanted to do, but soccer was uh, everything we thought about, um, everything we wanted to do, um, and, and that's what we just loved and enjoyed doing throughout throughout our lives. Um, I don't remember a time where we weren't around soccer, where we didn't have a soccer ball close in sight. <laughs> that was the shot. That was, that was it. Up in the air oh. like that. <laughs> this is kind of what it was like back when we were waiting for the school bus, but. You were a little bit smaller back then. You didn't cover quite as much as the goal. No. <laughs> I remember Ryan and I, we'd always, we'd always try to put the ball over your head, but you'd be so small <laughs> and you'd jump up and you'd get mad because you wouldn't yeah. be able to get it. Yeah, you used to always roof it up in the upper 90. A few times you guys would break that white. <laughs> the gutter, yeah. we'd always dent I, the gutter. You can see the, we were, the gutter's a little yeah. bit dented <laughs> up top because top. that's the old one. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's dented from soccer balls. I'm definitely going to take some credit for that upper 90 shot. I used to be the best goalie. I used to make him put it up in the upper 90. That was the only way I could score on you? Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> From as long as I can remember, I always wanted to be a professional soccer player. I remember doing a school project, whether it was in kindergarten or first grade. You know, the project was to answer the question, what do you want to be when you grow up? I immediately knew I wanted to be a professional soccer player, but at the time, being so young, I was slightly embarrassed by it because other people wanted to be firemen or astronauts or the president. And to be honest, I didn't really know how to go from a five-year-old to a professional soccer player. I just, you know, saw it and loved playing soccer and thought it was so cool that people were playing in front of fans and on TV and in big stadiums. But instead of focusing on that, I just focused on, I was just enjoying playing soccer. about the left. Come on, you taught me got to use both. <laughs> the biggest eye-opening experience was when we went over to England and we went over to Leeds and we got to watch Stephen McPhail. One of the kids I grew up with playing in Clarkstown, his first cousin, he came up through Leeds United's academy and then made his debut there. Had the opportunity to go over and um, catch one of the games at Ellen Road, which was really special. Got to meet Stephen, got to meet a couple of the other players, Mark Viduka. You know, when I saw that environment, um, when I got to meet a professional soccer player that was one of my best friend's cousins, I think that was the moment where it was like, yeah, I understand what this is and I want this to be my life when I grow up. When we went over there, Tommy really enjoyed staying with Steven and uh, basically he started learning how to like carry himself as a professional player. You know, he gave us a lot of tips on how to carry yourself and uh, I think Tom thought that was a very special time and it, it, like while he was younger, it's, you know, to have someone to look up to and someone that's already done it. I coach two of his cousins now, so he comes back and watches them on the weekends, which is really nice for the kids in the club to see him and uh, they can aspire to be like him. 
as coaches, like you're training the kids, you're telling them to work hard because you want them to get better and better. But then when you can say, hey, look, Tommy was here when he was U8, U9, U10, and look what he became. So if you keep working hard, like Tommy did, look what, what can happen for you. And they really relate to that because they're kids, they're young, and they see someone like Tommy who worked hard to get where he is and they feel that they can do it, some of them. We all grew up playing, you know, his father played for Clarkstown, I played for Clarkstown, his brother played for Clarkstown, so it was a tough decision to make when we, when we decided to move to FC Westchester, but we knew we had to get him into the right environment. Not that Clarkstown wasn't a great environment, but a lot of the players there played other sports, whereas FC Westchester was a soccer-only club. So you knew you were going to be around guys that all they wanted to do was play soccer. They met guys from all over the, you know, the world, guys that played, you know, grew up first generation guys from South America. And, you know, he didn't really have that as much at Clarkstown, so I think that helped him kind of transition his game a little bit. Gives him a little bit of the, uh, the South American flair that he has that, uh, you know, most Irish guys don't. Take off all the goals. It's different, right? How does it feel yeah, being back here, is, though? Everything is different. Now, I'm here every day, man. Yeah, I'm saying. How, yeah. how, how did it feel the first time, though? It was crazy. Like, it was you, like pulled in, like, like telling you, everyone. Did like, you tell them? Like, man, I grew up playing on these fields. Yeah. Like, it's like full circle, I mean, you know what I mean? I would be coaching here on this side when I coach at FC, and he would be practicing right there. Oh, yeah? yeah. Oh, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> I should have I should have stopped by. Like, <laughs> actually, one time, I took my team over it was recently and you guys were doing rondos and we were all there like screaming Tommy, <laughs> Tommy! But you know, when they're focused in, they're oh, focused yeah. in, yeah. Yeah, it was crazy. And the new facility is going to Rockland. Yeah, the Orangeburg. Right? Like really? to two miles from my parents' house. Wow. Really? <laughs> this is like literally like home. <laughs> I think the, the biggest difference was the amount of work he put in. We were all at the same level technically and, and tactically at, at that point but just the extra efforts he put in away from the soccer field really really made the big difference. I remember going to practice and he would tell me, you know, I'm, I'm a bit tired. I woke up today at five in the morning to go run, to go lift weights. And that made a big impression on, on me as a player. And that made me work harder to help him out. But now looking back at it, I'm like, he really deserved it. He's the one that got up and did that extra effort to, to get where he wanted to be. Desde el primer momento que nosotros lo miramos sabíamos que era diferente a otros por la no tanto por la calidad de fútbol lo que estoy no sino por la por la por la entrega que tenía la disciplina que tenía eh, era, es muchas cosas que, que, que tenía él que no las podía encontrar uno en otro en otro niño porque en el grupo que nosotros tenemos tenemos muy muy buenos jugadores casi nosotros pensábamos que muchos de ellos iban a llegar pero Ahí se vio la diferencia porque llegó él por la, la disciplina que tenía y, y la decisión que tenía de, 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 de ser profesional. Um, I think for for the team it's it's special. Uh, we always wanted one of us to to get there and and be able to feel that professional uh, I guess game. So it's it's nice to see that that he made it. And it's always a good time to go out and watch him on, at the stadium. I have two nephews that love him. They see they see the New York City games and stuff. And they always mention me. They always mention him to me. You get me. So it's 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 always an amazing feeling that I, that I played with him, and just seeing him score goals and do what he's doing still. It's it's awesome. All everyone that grew up in New York playing soccer, played against him or with him, are are all seeing the journey since he was 11 years old. And we're a tight community. We uh we know all the, all the ins and outs of the youth soccer game, the college game, and just seeing Tommy going this circle, he ends up being a pro going to Yankee Stadium is just amazing for everybody. And I just think that uh, kids find hope in that. The academy kids hopefully can step in his shoes one day and, and go out and uh, go in the same circle Tommy's going right now and end up back at SUNY Purchase. I, I can't describe it. I, it's very emotional for me. I mean, the best way to describe it is Tommy's at the highest level. And I think about all his teammates that he had throughout his whole life and I always tell Tommy, you're walking out on that pitch with those guys. You carry them with you. And you're asking me right now, what does it mean to us, to the community, 
we can't describe it. I can tell you this, usually guys are jealous of each other. That's just, they're just guys. You see somebody in your group make, you're like, well, I could have been better. That should have been me, not his group. They're there in the stadium with their wives or girlfriends and their kids now wearing his jersey on their backs with his name on it. That's what he means to us. And for our community, it's everything in the whole world to watch him come out on the field. To any young soccer players in the New York area that want to become professional soccer players, my biggest piece of advice is you need to really believe in yourself and commit to that if that's what you want to be. As young as 13, 14 years old, I always got told you're just not fast enough, you're not strong enough, you're not good enough. I got that point in the sense that I wasn't quite as athletic as other people, but I realized that athleticism wasn't everything and I knew that I had other aspects of my game that made me a good player. And so I believed in myself. I didn't take their word and say, ah, oh, they're right, I'm never gonna be good enough. You know, a lot of people questioned me coming out into the professional game. Is he good enough? Is he big enough? Is he fast enough? Is he strong enough? I still face those questions today. Whenever I step on the field, I always feel like I'm playing for and with everybody that had an influence on me as a young kid all the way till now playing for New York City FC. You know, that starts as young as when I was playing with my parents and at Clarkstown, especially to my teammates and coaches at FC Westchester and all the way through everybody that was involved in my development. I feel like they're a part of me and they're with me out there on the field and that, you know, I'm re representing what we were and how we grew up. In for McNamara. McNamara's shot is in! Tommy Mac 